Good morning! We just came from Galapagos yesterday and today we have a day in Quito before we go to Panama tomorrow. So today we're going to the cloud forest in Mindo. And what we're gonna do there is we're gonna hike to a waterfall and I think there's a cable car, which is going to be exciting. I've seen pictures, it looks kind of scary. And we are going to see some butterflies. There's a butterfly farm there. And if we're really lucky, we might see some hummingbirds as well. So, let's go! at the butterfly farm in Mindo. The drive was supposed to take about two hours, but due to a traffic accident, it took another 30 minutes. This place is exactly what you'd expect, a farm for butterflies, and they're everywhere. We're not sure if there is such a thing as tame butterflies, but these are probably as close to that as you can get. take a cable car now to the other side of this very green valley and over there we're gonna see a big big waterfall looking very much forward to this gotten some directions now on how to get to the waterfall. Apparently it's going to take about 15 minutes to get there. Uh, we're quite excited. This was a very fun cable car ride. So let's see what this looks like. So we were told that we're going to go to the shorter ones because that's the one we have time for and we have to make the right choice. So hopefully the one to the right will take 15 minutes to walk in total. And if we're wrong, then we're going to be on this path for another hour each way. So, fingers crossed we got this right. This is a really beautiful place, but we haven't seen a single other person here yet, so we're quite curious to see what it'll look like when we get there. If it's just, you know, one of those hidden gems or if there's a reason why there's nobody else around. I think we found the right place. We made it. You can probably hear it that it's quite loud here from the waterfall. That was so much fun. We were almost touching the trees when we came to the end, but in the bottom of the valley below it was just so far down and we could see the river there next to the waterfall that we went visiting. It was a really great trip. What do you think, Tora? It was awesome. It was so much fun. 
We're going for lunch now and we're going to try genuine Ecuadorian food. Really looking forward to this. Excited to find the local Ecuadorian food? Yes. Yes. Is it good? Yes, it's very good. Have you tried some as well then? We've had our lunch now, we're so full, this was delicious, but we have to keep carrying on because we're going to see hummingbirds before the end of the day. There is a hummingbird place in Mindo, but our guide recommended to stop at another one on the way back instead. While tour guides offering a special place is often just a scam, this guy seemed very genuine and we took the chance to trust him. That was definitely the right choice. Plenty of hummingbirds and no one else around. The hummingbirds are amazing, but they're also incredibly hard to film. The feeders are definitely necessary to attract the birds, but they're not exactly picturesque. However, filming these extremely fast-moving birds mid-air is probably beyond both the limit of our video gear and cinematography skills. But we should be able to capture some stills. You're about the big lens. Sunny all day, we just had an amazing day, and as soon as we got into the car, it started raining, and now we're closing down the hotel, and it's just pouring down. There's just a lightning strike here, and there's thunder. Look at the water over there, just pouring out of the wall. Now it's coming from wet to very wet. Just like it arrived, the rain suddenly disappeared again too. With a few more hours to spare before we carry on towards Panama, we're going to check out this church where you can walk over the ceiling but under the roof and climb onto the top of the church for a great viewpoint. So now we're on our way up into the church towers. And apparently we're going to walk over the roof of the church while still being inside. And then we're going to go even higher up through a ladder to get to the tower at the top. Pretty excited to see how this will actually be. Getting up higher and higher. We found the ceiling now, so now we're going to cross over to the other side. We had to put the camera down when we were climbing up, it became a bit too steep. We can show you where we've climbed up. We thought the job was done on the top, but we had to go down again too. Uh -huh. 